No, if I sit down like this, nobody will take seriously what I'm saying. Yeah, it just goes. <laughs> All right, let's finally intro this video. It's been a while. I think it's been like two years. Actually, before we get straight into it, let's find out when my last YouTube video was. Okay, so it was actually one year ago where I said, oh, I'm gonna try start vlogging again. And then I did like three videos and then I stopped. <laughs> Mostly because uh, making YouTube videos is very time consuming and I just got super busy. We started a podcast, me and my partner, um, we did a lot of shit. Life was busy. Anyway, if you are new to my channel, I probably need to introduce myself. I'm Kenzie, I am a fitness and self-development blogger, I am also a freelance digital media manager, and as of this year, a fitness trainer. <laughs> so. If you watch my vlogs like a couple years ago, then you will know that I'm from New Zealand originally. You also might know based on my accent. And I moved across to Melbourne two years ago, 2.5 years ago. And I vlogged the whole journey so you can go back and watch that if you like. And that's kind of why I'm back, I guess. <laughs> because I vlogged that whole journey and I still go back and watch those videos. I still love watching those videos. And even though like I had more time to film back then, I just, I really value having those like memories to go back and watch. And I think it's so cool when you're at a really pivotal point in your life to document it, especially in video form, because you know, we don't get that opportunity that much. I feel like I, I play with my hair so much, it's so bad, but also it's still coming out of that wig thing. So <laughs> we're still recovering just a little. Um, anyway, yeah, I miss the creative process of creating, filming, documenting, and I decided to come back. I also thought that with the way my blogs kind of developed over the past couple years, the best ways for me to show like the messages I believe in about like self-development and mindset and you know healthy habits and things like that the best way for me to showcase that is to literally show you my day-to-day -day and what I swear by and things like that and anyway as I mentioned we're in this new place it's very exciting so our last place or the first place we got when we arrived in Melbourne was a little one bedroom studio apartment. It was great. And even if you look back at the last vlogs, we were so happy to find it. We literally thought it was perfect. Anyway, two years down the track, pandemic hits and basically we're spending all our time at home and we are literally just on top of each other in this one bedroom studio and we're also doing everything in one space like we're exercising we're having dinner we're spending time with each other we're working we're literally doing everything in this living room come bedroom come everything else and it was just too much. And so we were like, okay, we need to start looking for a new place. We love our area. We even love our apartment block so much. So funnily enough, we found this place that I kid you not is three doors down, three doors down from our place. And that made the whole thing of moving in a pandemic very easy to be honest, because we were literally just interchanging between the two places um, as we did that crossover and now we're officially in the new place I will be showing you a bit of an apartment tour in this video but I kind of need to do a little more unpacking I've kind of been putting it off we like arrived we were kind of pooped by moving three doors down it's a lot <laughs> don't recommend it on top of a super busy workload so we kind of arrived settled in and we're just like okay Let's just chill for a bit. Let's enjoy the new place, even though we have like no furniture. Let's just relax. And then we went straight into kind of a working week. So yeah, I haven't really unpacked. So that's gonna be today. And then I'm gonna show you a little apartment. So I'm gonna keep it real. I'm just gonna be like, you know what? There's a lot of boxes around right now. There's not a lot of furniture. And that is how things are starting out because it's 
unfurnished and hopefully that won't be the same in <laughs> a few months time and we'll get to look back together okay so that's the moving house part sus as for what else I've been doing in the past couple of years there's a lot to update you on <laughs> um, I actually made this post on my Instagram a little while ago I'll just show you the one it is um, let's have a look you can follow me here at currently loving blog look we're already doing little vlogs okay so I did a little um, what do you call this gallery where I posted lots of little highlights from the past two years in Melbourne and I did this when we moved into this new place right and basically the whole point of this post I was like you know what I haven't been very transparent about I guess what I've actually been doing or I guess the achievements that have come along the way in the past couple of years like I've been doing these things and I've been showing the process online but like I've never really stood back and celebrated my wins along the way or really spent much time reflecting on them or sharing them or celebrating them. And I guess that's kind of a, one of the downfalls of my own personality is like I'm really inspired to achieve and to move on to the next thing and um, to just keep bettering myself. And that's what my whole platform is about, like self-development. But I rarely step back and go, hey, Kenzie, that was really cool that you did that. Like, you know, um, in the past couple of years, I started a podcast with my partner. In the past couple of years, I developed a full-time freelance digital media marketing like business for myself. And like, I haven't taken a moment to go, you know, I just did it. And then I was like, cool, that's the new norm. Moving on, what can we do next? And so I was like, I'm gonna do this for myself, but also maybe to inspire others. And so if you wanna read kind of what the last couple of years have looked like for me, I'd go recommend looking at that post. Once again, the cover image is me eating peanut butter and jam, one of my favorite snacks. Fitting, done a lot of that over the past couple of years. But I basically celebrated my tangible wins. So things that you can see, feel, touch, yeah, you can identify them, but also intangible wins. So you wouldn't know looking at me that, let's, have, let's get an example up. Um, you wouldn't know that I've overcome what it is to be lonely in a new country. Because obviously like when I first arrived, you know, I set up my freelance business and I was ready to go all in with creating a kind of remote, I like to call it design your own life, working lifestyle. Whereas AJ was like getting a full time role and going into an office. And so I was kind of learning what it was like not to have friends, not to have family in, you know, a new country. And I had to go through those obstacles of emotions of, you know, feeling really isolated, missing being able to just call a friend and go for a walk or um, just having someone close or coming home at, I mean, yes, I had AJ when I came home at night, but that was kind of it. Like I didn't have someone throughout the day. If, if I was having a bad day, if I was just struggling up here, you know, it was like quite isolating. So I really learned some tools during that time for understanding my own emotions, um, for accepting them and for being able to upkeep my own happiness. And so I put that down as a little small win that you wouldn't know that like I went through that. You wouldn't know that um, that was something or is something that I'm capable of doing, but that's so huge. Like a lot of people, even in this pandemic, have struggled with being by themselves and dealing with their emotions because there's been no distractions, you know? Like you can't go out and just hang with a group of mates. You have to kind of accept and, and be with that fluctuation of emotions. And it's very hard to deal with when you, as I said, can't go distract yourself with other people. You really have to confront those inner demons as such. So yeah, that was one of my wins. and. I wanted to share that and I want to start sharing more of that because I actually think that it's really empowering to share your wins, not just for yourself, but 
for other people. As I said, I'm showing the journey, I'm showing the day to day, I'm showing me getting up at 5 a.m. so that I can, you know, get as much in my day as possible, so that I can balance being currently a fitness trainer and in digital media marketing. Like, and work on my own fitness and you know start a podcast and all these things and the reality is that like there are lots of sacrifices involved in order to balance all these things in order to progress all your dreams at once and not only do i think it's really valuable to share the journey but like i think that makes it so okay to sit back and to be like hey I did this and here's the results and you can too like follow this journey follow these steps apply it to your own life apply it to your own goals and you too can reap great rewards and sometimes you know learn from my mistakes as well so yeah I just wanted to say that do I think it's wrong to celebrate your small wins no I don't and I'm actually trying to do it more often I want to be more transparent about that. I want to, I've been trying to do it with friends as well or with in conversations with other people. Like if somebody says to you, hey, you did a really good job at that. Let's stop saying, yeah, I guess so. It was okay. Let's just acknowledge it and be like, yeah, I was really proud about that. I'm stoked about that. Thank you. You know, it's like, let's embrace those wins because I think it's much more empowering for everyone involved. Anyway, <laughs> that is kind of my little um, update, I guess, on where I'm at in life. Of course, yeah, you'll kind of get more of an idea as things go on. And as I share more little vlogs and things like that, yeah, it's just going to be an insight into my life as a 22 year old fitness trainer and completely freelance digital media manager. And yeah, just my ups and downs, what works for me, even like my fitness tips as well, because fitness is a huge part of my life um, and has only increasingly become that way since I landed in Melbourne. I've just absolutely fallen in, fallen in love with it. Like before I used to run and things like that, but I was never, I guess, just so interested in like, you know, how you can eat well to perform better and, you know, challenging yourself and truly like experimenting with strength training, HIIT training, which are huge parts of my own routine now. Yeah, you'll see a lot of that. You'll see it all, guys. But yeah, I'm just really excited. I'm excited to be back. I hope you guys are excited too. It is currently Sunday. You guys will have seen that We've gone for a walk, um, we got some coffee, we've tested one of my HIIT workouts, one of my HIIT classes for the week. If I didn't mention, I teach virtual classes. That's part of the membership program I offer at Currently Loving Fit. I'll leave a little link in the bar if you wanna check that out, see what it is I do, and you can even jump into a free class trial if you like. But yeah, that's what we tested today, and now I need to do some serious unpacking. I'm gonna bring you along for the rest of the day as well. Yeah, as I unpack, show you a little apartment tour. I might show you that in this video, or it might be the next one. I don't know yet. And then, yeah, we're gonna go from there, guys. It's gonna be fun, and I hope you enjoy it, and, I'm gonna stop talking right here. <laughs>